Here's another short sermon for you. It's not. <laughs> Romans 8 verse 28. We are assured and know that God being a partner in the labor, all things work together and are fitting into a plan for good to and for those who love God and are called according to his design and purpose. When we speak to a person going through a hard times, we often utter these words from Romans. Not because we necessarily believe them to be true, but because we believe we need to say something. God is in control, we often continue. Although I believe this to be true, I don't know if we always consider the weight of what we are saying. Telling the mother of a dying child that their ordeal is fitting into a plan and ultimately for their good is not wise to say the least. It's almost a super cliche. And if it's done without the prompting and guidance of the Holy Spirit, it can even be destructive. Here's the difficult part. I do believe it to be true. I do believe that there's inherent meaning and I do believe that in some cases it is our very suffering that is the catalyst for that meaning. 1 Peter 3 verse 14 teaches that if we should suffer for what is right, we are blessed. Fitting into God's plan isn't always easy or often doesn't make sense, but there is a plan. Set your minds and keep them set on what is above, not on the things that are on the earth, we are told in Colossians 3. When we suffer and when we see other people suffer, there's real utility in reminding ourselves that there is a plan. The reminder that God is in fact in control and that there is in fact a plan is useful. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 promises that if we suffer for a little while, we will be restored. So not only is there significance placed in our suffering, but there is a promise of restoration. Knowing that at the end of all of this, our salvation is secure, and that ultimately all things will work out for good for those who love God, is not cliche. It is power. 